Hello students welcome back once again in English literature class this is Uma Vidushi your English teacher today we are going to learn the new poem of your English Gulmohar book that is after the storm this poem is written by William Wordsworth so let's know about the poet and his writing William Wordsworth was an English romantic poet who with Samuel Taylor College helped to launch the romantic age in English literature with their joint publication Lyrical Ballads He was born on 7th April 1770 in Cockermouth United Kingdom and was died on 23rd April 1850 in United Kingdom He has written many poems few of them are like I wonder lonely as a cloud lines written a few miles ever tinner abbey and many more William Wordsworth loved nature and has written many poems describing the beauty and bounty of the nature now let's know about the poem after the storm is a poem from the collection of resolution and dependence this poem describes the joy felt by birds and animals the morning after the stormy night all the animals and birds like jay or magpie these are the names of some birds hare and stork bro rejoice and enjoy the calmness and the peacefulness morn in the morning so this poem is about a beautiful morning after the stormy night here in this poem William Wordsworth describes one of the nature's mood the joy felt by all birds and animals the morning after a stormy night now what rhyming scheme you will find in this poem the rhyming words appear every alternative line like they are night bright floods woods broods chatters waters doors moors bird mud earth sun run these are the rhyming words which you will find in this poem let's know about the poem and explanation of this it's and the explanation of its stanzas So this poem is consists of two stanzas and each stanza uh, is consists of seven lines. So in the very first stanza the poet is describing about the morning which serves after a storm. As the poet has written that there was a roaring in the wind all night. Yes the night was very stormy it was very thunderous the wind was making very loud noise and the rain came heavily and fell in floods but now it is the new morning bright morning as the sun is rising calmly and brightly all the birds are singing in the distance wood in a very sweet song they all are singing their sweet songs while uh, the previous night was filled with the sounds of heavy rainfall heavy rains the morning is now filled with sounds of gently flowing water the daylight is being enjoyed by all the creatures that love the sun and the speaker the poet has also mentioned that 
all the different types of birds like stock dove jay magpie they all are very happy they here he use personification to describe to tell that how these birds were discussing about the night among them the jay makes answer means the bird is saying something he that bird is trying to say say something even magpie is also chattering it means that bird is also giving reply to the another bird so all the air is here filled with pleasant noise of waters now what is that water here water here is actually the source of water like lakes rivers streams ponds canals these all are the sources of water so all the water bodies are filled with the whole atmosphere is filled with the noise of water which is very pleasant to hear because the last night was very thunderous night the night was filled with the uh, loud noise of the cloud and the rain so new morning the fresh morning is quite very beautiful very calm and cheerful also because all the animals all the creatures birds are enjoying this morning a lot so this is the explanation of the very first stanza of the poem now let's have a look on some of the word meanings which you will come across in para- in stanza first the first word here is roaring which means making or altering a roar the second word is distant which you will find in the fourth line it means far away in space or time then the next word is stock dove jay and magpie actually these are the different kinds of birds thought by the speaker as the different person means here the speaker has used these birds or creatures as a person as indicated by the use of the capital letter because generally the name of any person is written in a capital letter then makes answer it means answers or responses the next word which you will find here is broads it's a bird that sits on its eggs to hatch them and the last word is waters which i have just explained you that it's the different water bodies uh, it is talking about different water bodies such as rivers lakes streams etc so i hope students you have understood the explanation of the first stanza try to write down the explanation of these lines in your notebook and learn these keywords properly the introduction of the author is very important even for your examination purpose also so i request you to please note down that introduction in your copy and learn them sincerely i will see you soon in the next video with the explanation of the second stanza till then take care bye bye thank you so much